Hello and welcome back to a Pokemon Infinite Fusion Randomized Nuzlocke. This is here right in front of Erica's gym where we left off last time saying that we would go ahead and take on the gym today. One thing I did realize very quickly after the end of last episode is I never actually checked the gym's type. So we do have the same team as before. Everyone is still the same level. I've not trained up anything new despite the fact that I think Erica is actually going to have a, a decent level lead on us but I feel like we should be okay. Um, <laughs> I say before looking at the type, famous last words, but we didn't look at the type, meaning I didn't train up anything in preparation. It could be that I look at this type and it's something that we get absolutely destroyed by, like a fire type to be honest would actually be awful, but let's go ahead and figure that out right now. I could have looked at this off screen, but I decided not to. I decided we would just go ahead and uh, see where the wind takes us, because so far we've had a pretty smooth sailing time, so if this decides to screw us over, so be it. The type we are going to be fighting is, not on that one, Zeldon City Gym, Gym Leader Erica, specializing in fairy type folk. Okay. We aren't horrible against fairy. In fact, this is like the most neutral type imaginable, <laughs> which I guess is fine. It feels a little bit underwhelming, but it's fine. I would have loved to have the Metang Genesect ready for this type. That would have been really good, but Fairy type should be fine. Uh, we have Iron Head on skills. Eugene is pretty neutral. Persephone is pretty neutral. Megali is neutral. Mibbles is neutral. Wizard is good. I mean, overall, yeah, that seems that seems decent. I think we should be fine. So let's go ahead and start getting our way to Erika, which I kind of want to say like Eureka every time because it makes it sound way more fun. Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. I mean, but why? I guess the whole place is surrounded with hedges, actually. So you know what? That would be one. Sylveon. Just, just fancier Sylveon. It's like a Mega Sylveon. Mega Evolutions would be really, really cool. I played a really old game. I've mentioned this a couple times. But I played this really, really old game called Pokemon Pets. That did no damage, um, <laughs> despite us also being past Sylveon. I played this really old game called Pokemon Pets, which, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't anything incredible, all right? It was a very okay at best PC game that you played in browser, but it did have very cool sprites and it did have like megas for every single Pokemon and it had so many, so many like just cool mega evolution sprites at the time that I was like, oh my god. Um, and this is the kind of thing that I would expect to see in that, so it kind of reminded me of it. Um, Iron Tail Annihilate Silver. As you'd expect, as you'd expect, I feel like Wizard is gonna be... <laughs> I know I've said this many times, but I feel like Wizard is gonna be our star of the show for this gym. I know. Crazy. Can you believe it? Wizard being good? Our best Pokemon for this entire playthrough? Being good? <laughs> it's crazy how just consistent this Pokemon has been. Sella Wild. Am I okay against this? No, it's a grass type. I am not okay against this at all. In fact, I'm terrified of this. Celebi, I'm pretty sure is primary grass, so it should be grass fairy, which overall isn't too scary of a type. We can go into Fangali here and we can absolutely destroy this thing. It is level 34. I didn't look at the levels super closely. Hypercutter. Interesting. Ancient power. Okay. Wizard is the only Pokemon. There is no other Pokemon on my team. Everything else can be faded out right now. Okay. All oh, right. I don't like how much damage the Selby is doing. I do not appreciate. I'm just going to Freshwater. That will bring us back up to full HP. It will take us to um, 81, which is close enough. Crunch still does a good amount. But that's about as high as we're going to get. We do have to rely on... Iron Tail Landing, which isn't my favorite thing to need to happen, but... Oh no. If we lose Wizard... Oh, I said the words. I said the words. Oh no, it's all downhill from here. It's all downhill from here. If we lose Wizard in this gym, we are going to have a very bad time by the time we get to Erica. We lose wizard in this gym okay 
Shockwave is resisted because it's part grass. I think. Forest Fear is resisted because it's part fairy, meaning we still have to go for an Iron Tail, except now there's an Iron Defense set up, so it probably won't KO. It didn't KO before anyway! Baton Pass. Wait, I might have been saved. Toga Vesta. Which is Fairy Fire, because I think La Vesta is primary bug. Fairy Fire. With an Iron Defense set up. Do we care about the Iron Defense being set up, or do we still just go into Mibbles and fake out Bone Meringue? If it ends up being Fairy Bug because I've got this wrong though, then Bone Meringue does nothing and that becomes really bad really quick. This is a little bit more awkward than I expected. I'm going to go into Mibbles, assuming that my assumption in first place was right. Assuming that my assumption, that's a sentence. Wish. Don't you go back into that Celebi. There's no point in using Fake Out in that case. Well... Actually, yeah, there is. You know what? Just just go ahead and get rid of the, the Wish. Plain Body. That was bad. That was really bad. I'm still just going to Bone Meringue. It is super effective. I wish I'd done this in the first place. Ancient Power is fine. Ancient Power is fine. How much HP is uh, Wizard at? Wizard's healthy. Wizard is healthy. Uh, we Bone Meringue again. We land it. Good. Good. Very important that we land those. A little bit of XP shared. We go back into Wizard for this. And now it doesn't have an Iron Defense up. By the way, that was with an Iron Defense baton passed to it, and Bone Meringue still did that much damage, which is actually crazy when you think about it. Um, and now we Iron Tail without the Iron Defense up, and we land it, and we KO. Okay, that was, that was a little bit scary. The Celebi more wild combo was a little bit scary. Quickly run back and heal, uh, because I don't want to waste my supplies. In fact, while I'm zooming around, we haven't actually been in the department store to see what goodies we can get. So let's just quickly do that, shall we? Because we could probably buy better potions. We might be able to get, like, hyper potions or something in here. Uh, no. We could probably get lemonade at the very least. Yeah. Random. Wait. Okay, lemonade, burn heal, fresh water, DNA reverser, soda pop. Reaper Claw. Alright. Alright. I wonder if they're random every time. They might be random absolutely every time. In which case, I could probably exploit that to get infinite items. If I was lucky and didn't, you know, lose all of my money getting garbage. I'm not gonna do that. Out of the spirit of fairness, but I am tempted. <laughs> because at the same time, it would be funny. <laughs> All right, let's keep skills in front. Ah, something I can iron head, please. Something the wizard doesn't need to destroy. Just something, something easy. Chico Puff. That sounds like something easy, except it's level 36 with cross type moves. Never mind, that's not easy at all. That's terrifying. We're going into Fang Alley. Wait, level 36? What does Erica have? I have level 30s. I said I would I would fight the gym. I said I would fight the gym. I'm staying and I'm fighting the gym. Set up a light screen. I'm just gonna aerial lace because I don't know how much recoil I'm gonna take from this. And aerial lace might be enough. It is enough for a crit. Nice. Baby XP. Just that one Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Do you give me anything? I imagine you're just a gym trainer. So you probably don't do anything. Yeah. That's fine. But you. Do you have something that I can iron head safely with skills? Please, this is skills time to shine a little bit. Pucks. We're weak to ground. And it's Puck Cubo. I just want to use skills, man. I just want to use skills. Why is this happening to me? I guess we go into Eugene. Eugene also needs some XP, to be fair. We have Fake Out. We have Raise Leaf. Brash? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm actually going to Fake Out because I don't want it using Brash again. 
Nice confusion. There we go. A little bit of a uh, little bit of tactics right there, and we can raise a leaf, and it should go down nice and easy. Yeah, if you flinch a Pokemon while it's going for one of the, the Petal Barn, Sprash, um, Outrage, any of those moves, they do get confused, which is nice. Poke Chow. Poke P. Well, any of that evolution line, Chin Chow. Which is part water, so I can't bring in skills. Why? <laughs> Stop, <laughs> please. I think we might stay in, although I don't want to get air slashed by a Togekiss. Always wizard. Good against fairy, good against flying, good against electric, neutral to water. I mean, it, it, we, just, we just have to rely on it so much. This is, to be fair, a fairy type gym, and it is our steel type. It is Togekus Chinchow. Okay. I'm gonna just go for the Iron Tail. Good damage. Flail. Which is resisted, but still, scary move to see. Uh, if I Shockwave... We don't know its ability. My Aura Sphere... It's definitely one times resisted. I just don't want to miss Iron Tail, okay? I want to click a different move because I don't want to miss Iron Tail, so I'm going to click Aura Sphere and I'm going to re regret it because it's not going to KO. Now it will work. <laughs> Do I regret it? Yes. I should have just clicked Iron Tail again, or I should have just went for the Shockwave against the, the potential other ability. I, it could have had Volatile. And also, I thought Aurasphere might do a teensy bit more damage than that, but it sure didn't. Aurasphere was pretty bad. Pokemon are like sprouts. They grow for their whole life. That's just not true. If you have a level 100, you know, 40, ooh, 40 year old Magikarp, it's probably not growing anymore. You're a Bishop, you have Steel type moves. I have to be afraid again. I just want to iron head something. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I just want to use the skills. I like the, the arms. Galaxy or Fable, the only thing that's really disturbing me is how much the head looks like a bobblehead toy. It does. It looks like the head just kind of pops off. How are we fighting you? How are we fighting you? Nibbles with a ground type move, maybe? I mean, it's thick club boosted. Technician boosted. Bone Meringue. Metal Claw. I'm glad I swapped. First of all. Uh, I don't think we have any reason not to fake out. Let's get flinched. Bone Meringue. Bonk. Gone. <laughs> it's so powerful. It really is so powerful. Wants to learn Frash. That is Stab. We do have Pulse Swipe. And we did have that one situation, I can't remember exactly what it was now, but we did have one situation where having false swipe kind of screwed us over into forcing us to go for uh, a different move. It might have been we had to go for Bone Rang again when it was 90% accurate or something, or we would we would die. So we're going to get rid of false swipe for Thrash. The times when I use this are going to be far and few between, because I don't love locking myself into a move, but it is powerful. It is very powerful. There's also Thick Club Boosted Frash. Well, Technician Boosted, but it is Thick Club Boosted. That's still incredibly powerful. San Wile. San... Not San Shrew or San Slash. Or Wile. San. San's Undertale? No, um... <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't go into skills because it's part more while, and that means that it has steel type moves. I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, I'm going into Eugene, expecting it to be a ground type, because all I can think of is Sandshrew, which it definitely isn't. I can't think of what else it is. Sandile? Sandile? Weird. I'm gonna raise a leaf. Oh. I didn't fake out. That's on me. I didn't think I needed it. Togekarp. Turns out I didn't need it because we're going to take down the Togekarp. 
<laughs> which is in fact it looks that looks like it should evolve into a milotic the color scheme with the pink and blue no more feebas eugene wants to learn double edge That is powerful. Swift is technician boosted, making it a base 90 power normal type move. I can't miss. I think I'm fine keeping Swift. I'd rather not have the recoil. We already have Brave Bird, and now we have Frash on another Pokemon. I don't want to have all of my Pokemon just potentially getting annihilated by themselves. So let's just continue as is. Let's just Swift this, for example. You know, I just said we have Swift. We can take that out and we can just kill. We can just seed it. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? I don't say don't don't say that. <laughs> that has a double meaning. Don't say that. <laughs> I hope Erica wipes you out. Sorry, Erica. Uh okay. Skittles, you're going to be able to be used in this fight. You are going to iron head this Pokemon. You are going to have a type advantage. It's going to be like very something. Yes, 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 yes. This is fine. This is fine. You can fight this. You can fight fairy fire. Fairy fire? Fairy ghost? I don't know Litwick's primary typing, but I would assume it was primary ghost? I'm iron heading. It is, in fact, Primary Ghost. I guessed correct. I should get up, like, a Pokedex list on the side at some point and just look through every single type of Pokemon and try and learn which order their types go around specifically to help me with this game. Clef Eon. Clefairy and some kind of evolution. You know what? I hope. It's not a Leafeon. Jolteon. This also isn't ideal. It shouldn't have any steel type move. But you know what? That means that we can fight it. Is a rock tomb going to make it slow enough to where I can outspeed it? Definitely not, but I'm going to try. Cosmic power. I don't like that. I don't like getting set up on. Rock tomb does negative two damage, as you would expect. Uh, Mibbles would probably be a good switch in. As we could bone meringue this and we'd be immune to any electric type moves it has. But I'm gonna rock tomb again. Thunder wave. That sucks. That sucks. We're definitely not outspeeding it now. I was hoping to get it to a point where maybe I could start going for rock slide. How much does drain and kiss do? Agility. Well, there, there go my previous two turns of lowering its speed. Metronome. Don't. Don't you metronome a steel type move. Don't you do it. No steel type move. I don't. I feel like I can win this. I'm iron heading. Don't. I don't like metronome. I've never been so afraid of metronome. Iron head does not the most damage. What berry do you have? Landsat berry? To get pumped. Crit rate? Okay, Rock Slide was definitely my better move than Iron Head. I don't know why I used Iron Head. I can't flinch it. Don't. Dunk Shot. That's neutral. It's also going for a really long time. That was a long... That was a, a large amount of gunk inside of that. Why did it have so much gunk stored? <laughs> I don't like the amount of gunk that was stored in that creature. We're not learning Metal Sound. I like our moveset. Okay. Skittles want to fight. That's all I wanted. That's actually all I wanted. All right, we're putting Fangali in front. Skittles want to fight. Cool. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. That's the most normal thing anyone has said in this place. I've, someone said they wanted to be... Someone said I seeded them. Someone gunked. I don't... I don't like it. Pyranitar Azumarill. Okay, your Sandstream. I watched for the ability, okay? Let it be known, everyone. I watched for the ability to check if it had huge power. It doesn't have huge power. It's still terrifying, but it doesn't have huge power. <laughs> Which is really good. So you are Rock Fairy. So I am not staying in in any universe. There is no world where I am staying in against this. In fact, we just go to Wizard. 
and we iron tail you. There is, there is no doubt in my mind that that is what I'm doing. I'm absolutely iron tailing this. There's no way I'm risking going into a different Pokemon. Could I go into Eugene and maybe hit it with a Razor Leaf? Yeah, sure, but why would I? I just want to iron tail you, to be honest. I want to iron tail you a lot. Okay, we land it, good. I was waiting in anticipation. We take out a moderately terrifying Pokemon. It could have been way scarier. It could have been way scarier. If that was a huge power Tyranitar Zoom World, that would have been the end of us. <laughs> but it wasn't. And hit Mon Pa. Ah. Huh? Jigglypuff. I was thinking of Jump Puff for a second there, and I was confused. Um, hit Mon Top, and we should be fine to go into Fang Alley for this. We have ele we have Electric type moves, which are neutral. We have Flying type moves, which is what I was actually trying to say. Uh, Hitmon Lee. I don't know why I said Hitmon Top like I was so sure it was going to be Hitmon Top coming out. I was just really sure it was going to be Hitmon Top coming out. I, I don't know why. I just, in my head, I was like, Hitmon. Got it. That's Hitmon Top. The Beyblade is coming. And it wasn't. Also, that poor Pokemon sprite just looked sad. Just looked sad. With that, though, and the team healed up once more, I think we should be pretty much at Erica. Do we have, like, one fight left? I think we have one fight left. Let's try not to take too much damage in this one fight, because I did just go and heal, and I don't want to have to go and do it again. Left Loom. Well, we are leading with the right thing for this. And we intimidate the Bray Loom. It's also... I kind of like the tail. I don't know why. I just... I just feel like it's a bunch of balls that would be spent. Cosmic power again from the Clefairy. Okay, all the Clefairies over here want to set up, but I'm not going to let that happen. We're just going to Aerial Ace and get rid of it nice and easy. Pretty tail. Pretty tail. And we do defeat you, meaning I do believe is Erica time. I really want to take skills because it has Iron Head. But we went through this gym... And it was not all that useful up until, like, the Litwick. <laughs> so, our team, depending on how many Pokemon we can bring in, is going to be Mibbles, Fangale, Wizard for sure, and we'll see if we can bring in a four. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? So pleasant. Oh dear. Must have dozed off. Welcome, Carlos. Nice to see you again. So, you decided to come challenge me? I'm really grateful for your help with Team Rocket, but that doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. I shall use three Pokemon. Okay, well, I've decided then. We're leading with Mibbles, with Fangale and Wizza in the back. They're just the strongest free Pokemon we have, right? There's, there's really not much of a way that we go into this. Eugene could be useful, but again, this just seems like the best course of action. We go for it. Is she going to have the Chikorita Gardevoir? Erika. Do you have Chikorita Gardevoir? I will be interested. Clefco. That just sounds like a store brand. <laughs> that, that just sounds kind of silly. Uh, we have no reason not to fake out. Does considerable damage. You have a berry, though. A Mago berry. I don't think it's worth staying in. I'm just going to go into Fangale and we can hit you with flying type moves because Bone Meringue, to be honest, it probably could KO considering it's club boosted and all that. But I'm just going to swap out an Aerial Ace. Bide. I'm brave budding because I'm... I Oh, wait. This is really bad. You're going to potion and brave bird might not KO. Is it worth it to actually not attack? All right. All right, all right, all right. This could be really bad. This could be really bad. They're definitely going to potion this turn. Meaning that damage that I just did on that first turn. Can they potion this turn if they're locked into buy? No. Maybe. No? They might be forced to buy it again. I'm brave burning. Okay, we're fine. They can't potion. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. 
<laughs> I made that way scarier than it seemed. <laughs> it, it was not actually that scary. But my mind went, oh no, they're going to heal to full and I'm not going to be able to KO them and they're going to have like two health bars worth of bide retaliating and that, to be honest, would actually be very scary. Slug Rill. Slugma Marrill? Slugma Nut. Sorry, I am, I am a bad person. Uh, You are going to be Fire Fairy. In other words, Bone Morang is going to annihilate. I do think that we should have a very easy time, but that is a cool sprite. That is a cool Azuril. I don't want to flame body myself, so I'm just going straight to Bone Morang. Okay, thankfully there was no strong water type move. I just want a Bone Morang. Okay, good. We don't get flame bodied, but we did nearly get hit by something scary. And then Glav War. Glaceon God of War? That sounds like it's time for Wizard to come out with Iron Tail. But show me the sprite though. I imagine it's going to be a very cool looking sprite. It is a cool looking sprite. Did we have one of these on our team last time we played? I recognize this very well. I feel like we had this on the team before we changed it to a Nine Tails God of War. Or was it the other way around? Maybe we took this after Nine Tails God of War? We definitely had this on the team. I remember that. Um, I'm Iron Tailing. We miss. Aria. Oh no. Hold on a second. Don't do that. I'm still Iron Tailing because it should be like four times super effective. Oh my god, that was with a barrier up. Oh no. That poor thing just got annihilated. Sorry, that isn't a strong enough word. Decimated. Holy. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer you the rainbow badge. That is what you just said. You said it again. What TM do you give? Please take this with you. TM46 Thief. Is that what it actually is? I haven't looked through my TMs. TM22 contains Solar Beam. Do we have Thief or Solar Beam? We also get one to trade tickets, which we haven't been using that much. Uh, We don't have 22. We don't have Thief. What do we have? Someone might have been keeping track. I'll be honest. I, I am not sure. Did we get Dazzling Gleam? That seems new. That seems new. That seems very new. Goodbye, Draining Kiss. We will have Dazzling Gleam. The Sephony can also learn it. Yes. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Better than Echoed Voice. Echoed Voice is not my favorite move. It's it's cool in theory, but eh. Eh. It's also, it's also just not that good of a move, to be honest, compared to a lot of others. I like my straightforward base 80 to base 90 damaging moves that are 100% accurate. Give me my Thunderbolts, my Surfs, my Flamethrowers, my Ice Beams. Give me those any day. Those are my moves. They make me happy. Okay, that's all I need. I don't need none of this fancy setup stuff. I just need, you know, Dazzling Gleam, for example. But that is where we're going to be wrapping up this episode. Next time, we will be heading over to Pokemon Tower, I believe. Which I'm saying mostly to remind myself of what to do more than anything. We will head to Pokemon Tower. We will have our encounter there, because I don't think we picked up our encounter there yet. And if we get that all finished, then we do have two Snorlaxes, which are going to be static encounters after that as well. So we might have some encounters next episode. It's been a while. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, though, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. I hope I ever do.